Thank you, thank you, thank you. Enjoy the film, enjoy your house, enjoy the grounds. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Congratulations on the view. I accept your debut as a director, adding another accomplishment to an already incredible, incredible career. We've known each other a long time. She was 17, I was 40. That's it. You know, and I'll never stop fighting for you, I promise you. Because fighting for you, by the way, I love when people say, well, why do we spend so much? You realize that 26 out of every 100 students in grade, grades uh, kindergarten through 12 speak Spanish? No, think about it. What in the hell heck are we talking about here? Now, it's my pleasure to welcome Eva to the mic. Eva! <laughs> so amazing. Oh, my gosh. Woo! Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Dr. Biden. Woo! We're at the White House! <laughs> Please help me welcome President Biden. My name's Joe Biden, I'm Jill Biden's husband. <laughs> and when we got here, we had to fight like hell to be recognized. To fight like hell to be recognized. That's why it's fitting we host this screening during Immigrant Heritage Month. That's what this is. A time when we celebrate the country's immigrant heritage. I want to see, I want you to know, Jill and I, we see you, we value you, we are indirectly a part of you because of our heritage as well in different ethnicities. Today is important for another reason. It marks the 11th anniversary of DACA. Yes. Deferred action for childhood arrivals. One of the proudest accomplishments of the Obama-Biden administration. This has transformed the lives of hundreds of thousands of dreamers who were brought here. I said in my State of the Union that we have to provide a pathway to citizenship for dreamers. What do you make of this, number one? And do you think that the White House went, uh, did, they, did they err in any way, the way they displayed the pride flag, the way that the flag code is supposed to be displaying the American uh, Extreme MAGA Republicans continue to engage in petty performance politics. They are not uh, serious about addressing the issues that are of importance to the American people. Uh, I'm unfamiliar uh, with this controversy, so to speak, 